you're building on Polygon. You've got some smart contracts deployed, and now you're looking at all the data, and you want to index that data. Well, you're in luck. Let's go ahead and start at thegraph.com. Now, the graph has been able to index Polygon on the hosted service for a while, but now Polygon is available on the graph network, which means you have a decentralized network of indexers around the world ready and waiting to index your data. So to get started indexing your data, go ahead and start on thegraph.com. You'll go up to Products, click on Subgraph Studio, which is the pathway to the decentralized network, connect your wallet, and from there, click on Create a Subgraph. Give it a name, and then choose Polygon. Now, here you're looking at your undeployed subgraph in Subgraph Studio. Let's start the process of deploying our subgraph. So first things first, open up your terminal, then go to your undeployed subgraph and check out these copy-paste elements here on the right. You'll see yarn or npm install, the CLI, copy-paste, and run it. So at this stage, it's going to be a lot of copying from the right and pasting to the terminal to the left. So just follow along. We're initializing the subgraph, and we'll select Ethereum, and we'll select the defaults here, and go ahead and choose Matic. Cool, put in the contract address you want to index, and the start block where you want to start indexing from. Give it a name. It's best practices to name the contract name, the actual name of the smart contract that's deployed, and then you'll index the contract events as entities. True. And once again, a little bit more copy from the right and paste to the left. We authenticate, and do not let anyone see your authentication key in the terminal. That is your security. In fact, I'm going to clear it right here so you can't see anymore. We're going to CD into the subgraphs code, and we're going to run graph code gen, graph build. Graph code gen is the type safety, and graph build compiles for your subgraph, and then we're going to deploy. So you can see how quick that was, a lot of copy pasting, and we're right at the cusp of deploying. So 0.01 .01 is the version, and it is now deployed. There it is, 0.01, .01, Polygon on the Graph Network. So now let's get familiar with our deployed subgraph. And the first thing I like to do when I deploy a subgraph is go right over to the playground and run a GraphQL query. And here, bam, you've got our GraphQL query response with all of that smart contract data that has been indexed through our subgraph. So really cool. You can also check the logs, see how your subgraph is running, check your details, use the development query URL to really start building out your DAP. And at this point, you can start iterating. I wanna highlight that Subgraph Studio is a developer environment to iterate on your subgraph. And in these iterations, you're gonna be making your subgraphs more and more robust. And at the time that you feel your subgraph is really ready for prime time. And as you can see with this subgraph, it is ready for prime time as it is 1.0. We can begin the process of publishing our subgraph to the graph network with auto scaling and high redundancy. Here, you can see the nearly 500 decentralized indexers ready and waiting to index your data. So that was a really quick walkthrough of how to deploy a subgraph to Polygon. And if you have any other questions about deploying a subgraph or publishing a subgraph, go ahead and check the links down in the description below. I look forward to seeing all of your subgraphs being deployed and published soon. Take care, everyone.